Hello, welcome to BadDragonProductions.com. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the fundamentals of how uh, to build a website, how to write a CSS style sheet, and the corresponding HTML file for the initial template. This is the one that you'll eventually use for um, you know, publishing your website on. First thing you need is some kind of editor, some kind of HTML editor, Dreamweaver, uh, Coffee Cup, Adobe Edge, Rapid Weaver, whatever whatever you're using. You can use text edit if you really want to. There's a couple little tricks about changing your preps though. So our files, when we're all done, what it's going to look like is this. This is what we're going to build right now. So we need to start out with a new CSS file. And save it, name it, we'll call it style. I'm just going to drop these on the desktop. We need a new HTML file, and we're going to link it to the one we just put on the desktop. Style, choose, blah, 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 outside roots, yada, yada, yada. Forgot to name it. <laughs> Don't forget to name it. Okay, index HTML. Okay. <clears throat> now what we're going to cover are the different individual elements of of the website or of your HTML and CSS coding. Now this is going to start out a little dry and a little on the slow side. I understand. But I realized there's some great videos out there. When I learned a lot of this stuff, I learned 99% of this stuff from YouTube videos and research in the internet and going to different sites. And there's some excellent information out there. There's some seriously uh, knowledgeable people that you can glean a whole bunch of information from. But I noticed on some of the sites, although they were they were really good, I'd have to go to one site to learn one little thing, and then I'd have to go to another site to learn another little thing. So I'm going to try to incorporate some of that stuff. Like I had one that I, I watched how to put this template together, but by the time I was all done, um, all my body parts of the web page were like scattered all over. And it's because I didn't realize that when you put your container together, you had to have the end div tag down at the bottom of the page. I mean, stuff like that I'm going to try to cover. So if it was something I had trouble with or something I had to experiment around with, I'm going to try to incorporate all of that. So um, it, it's not quite as hard for you. So what we start out with is our style CSS, our cascading style sheet, and our HTML page. <clears throat> the things you're going to have in your HTML, here's your head tag. This, this just tells you what what kind of page it is. You don't really have to worry about that. Dreamweaver does that by uh, by default. Then you've got your head tag. Okay, opening head, closing head. And this is just, this tells you the, the title of the document, which we can change. Let's call it new template. Okay. And then this is the line, this link href style.css. This is the CSS style sheet that's going to be, you know, attached to this page that this page is going to look for, for the style. And then you've got your body tag, opening body, closing body, and a closing HTML tag. I usually comment these just so um, they're easier to, to see later on when you start to get a bunch of, uh, a bunch of code. It doesn't get quite as confusing. So we'll say closing body tag. We'll say div. And these are comments. It's just the uh, less than and greater than Chevron tags. Have your little apostrophe in there. The comment tags on a uh, HTML are a little different. It's just a forward slash and asterisk on each end of your comment. So closing HTML div. Now the first thing in your web page is going to be a container. We're going to have a box on our web page that holds all the elements inside of it and keeps them from scattering all over the place. 
that's called the container. So we're actually going to go to the style sheet first, and we're going to we're going to write down all of our uh, elements that's going to be on this web page. So you always start out with a hashtag, pound sign, shift number three. <clears throat> it's called a hashtag. So we've got our container, and then you have an opening curly brace and a cl closing curly brace. And then all your style for that container goes within those braces. And then you have a header, hashtag, header, and this is where your uh, banner is going to go, your or logos or, or whatever. You can have a, a navigation menu or something, whatever in there. <clears throat> Next we're going to have our menu bar. So that would be your main navigation menu. Don't forget your braces, opening curly brace, closing curly brace. And then there's a left margin. I'm just going to write L, M for left margin. You can name these anything you want. Left margin, my kick butt little right side. I mean, whatever you want to type in there, you can, you can name these. But they have to correspond with the div tags on your HTML file. So hashtag right margin, RM, closing brace, a little bit of space in there. And then we're going to have our main body, hashtag, sorry, go down a couple more, hashtag main body. This is where your articles or your, your pictures, your graphics, whatever, this is where that stuff goes. Closing. And then our footer. And this is generally where like your copyright information or um, some additional references or resources or whatever. Generally, I just put the copyright stuff or maybe an ad banner or something in the footer. Okay, so there's your spots. Your seven different main parts of your template, okay? Now you go to your index, your HTML, and you're going to name them the same things. This hashtag signifies a div ID, a division identification. Uh, a div ID is an individual segment on your HTML page. So you're going to have div ID equals, and then an open quote mark, double quotes. And then here's the things we just made on the CSS sheet, container, footer, header, left margin, right margin, main body menu. So we're going to do our container, closing quote, and your closing chevron tag. And then we're going to name it just so you can see it show up on, um, I can spell, container. And then you have a closing div tag, which is just the less than sign, a chevron bracket, a left chevron. And then your slash and it gives you a closing div tag. This closing div tag, I'm going to comment this so we don't forget, is specifically for holding your your whole web page together, right? So you've got your closing container div tag and a comment. This is a comment tag. Now if you've downloaded any of um, if you downloaded the lesson to uh, you know follow along with the lesson, I comment heavily in my code sheets and my CSS and my HTML sheets. I code heavily to try to kind of explain some of the stuff I'm doing. If you do download the lessons, you also get a non-commented tag, so you don't have to filter through all the comments. It's just straight code. So you, they're both the same code. But one's heavily commented, and one doesn't have any comments at all. I also include the header banner, the picture I use to make the header banner. Um, if you watch these videos from BadDragonProductions.com, I'm going to have the full version videos in HD there, so they don't have to be broken up into 10-minute segments like they do on, on YouTube. So I make 10-minute segments, drop them out on YouTube, and then if you come to Bad Dragon and you want to download the lessons to follow along with them, then you can watch the entire video from there. And it's generally a little cleaner of a picture, too. It's not quite as blurry. 
So we've got our div ID container, and we brought the closing div tag down to the bottom. So everything's going to go inside this. The container's inside the body. And then everything on our page is going to be within the container. So don't forget to move your div tag, your closing container div tag, to the bottom. Now I've only got a couple more minutes, so I'm just going to buzz through these, and uh, we'll see what it's what it's going to look like. If we go to live view, see we've got container. That's this right here. So we're going to try to pop these other div tags out real quick. Div ID equals opening quotes header. the menu bar so div ID menu bar oh I didn't give me my proper quotes sorry opening quotes menu bar chevron Menu bar, closing, div ID equals opening quotes, and then we have uh, container header menu bars. So we're going to have our left margin. say left. Our right margin and our main body and then the footer. So in these, these um, I didn't put the word in this one. Main body, and in this one it'll say footer. Oops. And we refresh, and there's doesn't look like a page yet, but here it is. Go to our style sheet, and we can put a I'll put a border around this just show you let's say it's, we'll say uh, one pixel uh, solid you can do it solid dash dotted whatever we'll go with solid and then let's go with red pound sign red semicolon save it and go to our index and then there's our container so everything's gonna fit in this and we'll flesh this out a little more in the next lesson and start putting more of the elements in. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in a little while.